will face a third down and two at the Army 16. Joy Good Thomas Dixon to the back right. in the lineup, Dave. All right, and also Martellus Bennett's a tight end on the left. Thomas a tight end on the right. We're going to have to use a timeout. Down to three seconds on the play clock. Came to the line of scrimmage and used a second timeout. Used one earlier in the evening. That was back in the first quarter. Now used one here in the second. That'll stop the clock at 8.03 in the seconds. And McGee has Goodson to his right in a shotgun. Two wides each side. Third down, needed. Waiting on the snap. Hags picked up the blitz. Here's McGee running for it at the 10. He's at the five. Stiff arms a man. He slides down at the one yard line. McGee just went something like 15 yards on that one. 15 on the carry by Stephen McGee. First and goal, the Aggies looking to tie it here in the second time, 7.37. Luke Pell, his former high school teammate, one of McGee's best friends, just made the tackle on him. Javorski Lane's got the earlier touchdown tonight for Texas A&M. There's that power formation. He'll break it with Wiley going in motion. Spins, comes back to this side. There goes the handoff. It's Lane untouched. Touchdown, his second TD of the night. Career touchdown number 16, his seventh touchdown of the season. Just power football right up the middle. Power formation, Chris Alexander, the lead blocker and he walks into the end zone. Now with the extra point now, Ty Branion is gonna come out and hold for Lane Newman. Lane Newman's gonna kick. So Zemanski, after having an extra point that was partially tapped and a field goal that was blocked, he has been lifted. And Newman, with Branion holding, will make good on it. How about that? So a change made at that position at the 7-11 mark here in the second quarter. And the Aggies have come back to tie it now at 14 apiece. And uh, Tom, we're going to have to keep it up here. And Dave will get you to recap that drive for Texas A&M as Lane just scored on a one-yard run. Steven throwing the ball is 5 of 7 for 47. Been sacked once. Has a long pass of 20. Zemanski has kicked off. This one is about three yards deep. They're going to bring it up. It's kamikaze time and all. Stood up and driven back. They're going to get in the 11-yard line. Well, that's more like what you've been used to from this Aggie coverage team. Or Keith Brown. Looks like they've gotten fired up after that last touchdown to tie the score. And Army will start at their own 11-yard line with 7.02 left in the half. A&M getting its defense set with Brock Newton coming to this side. There's Peterson, and he's got an interception tonight, the first of the year for the Aggies. Pivado, hands off. They're going to look for him. He ran into one of his own men. He's coming back to this side. The Aggies chasing him, coming back to the 10, and out of bounds he goes at about the 14-yard line. That carry that time by Jamal Robinson. He's 5'8", 178, sophomore from Ohio. It carried six times, 23 yards in their first two games. Right now in that lineup, they've got Tony Moore. Reserve. Here's a throw, and it's off the hands and dropped by Walter Hill, and he was smacked a good one by Justin Warren as that ball arrived. Incomplete third down coming up. Still about, oh, long eight, short nine. Here's third down. Their third down conversions. They are one out of two. Pivotal. Marking signals. He was under center. He throws. That's a catch. And it is fighting for a first down. Caught by Trimble. Did he get it? I think so, Dave. Yep, he did. Trimble got it. Brock Newton and Devin Gregg doing everything they could to keep him at the 20. They just couldn't do it. They just converted. Army the ball. First down and 10 at their own 22-yard line. Peterson is out here on this left side. Brock Newton sneaking up there on the line of scrimmage. Toupe and Warren are the linebackers. Here's the pitch. Here's that Warren. Warren stands him up. Then Brock Newton will come in and close the tackle on Jamal Robinson across the 25 to the 27. Five-yard pickup. Second down and five coming up for the Black Knights. Only one reserve right now. Thornton in that front four for the Aggies. Other three are the starters. Single setback. Pivot all pulls away from center to say something. Turns to the other side of the line. Says something over there. Now the Aggies cheat one man in a hurry up on the line of scrimmage. They're going to throw one here this side, and that is 
incomplete, and then a whistle. There was a flag that's a legal procedure uh, against the Black Knights. Well, the quarterback, Pivado, pulled out before the ball was snapped. I'm sure it'll be called on him. Army opened the season with Arkansas State, lost 14-6. The Cadets won last week at home in overtime against Kent State. It's here second down and about nine for Army. Time, 528. Tied at 14. Pivado, a draw. They're coming to this side. Vini, the fullback, dives across the 25. He's out of bounds at about the Army 26. Third down coming up, Dave. They're going to need something like seven. Newman is from nearby Hondo High School, so congratulations to Lane Newman. Here's third down. Pivado drops back, throws. That's a catch out of the backfield, and a tackle at the 32-yard line. Caught by Tim Fry, a reserve fullback. That is his first reception of the season. First down for the Black Knights. Stop the clock, 517. Out to the Army 32-yard line. First and 10, the game tied at 14. Let's right, see if we can stop him here. Look for a turnover. Just get the ball back. Still some time. We've gone under five minutes. Pivotal, play action, rolling to the right, throwing the football. That is off the hands of the intended receiver, Jeremy Trimble. Got a break there. Closing on him was Melvin Bullock. He catches that. He's at midfield. Right there in the middle, I believe that's Devin Gregg. It is. The snap, play action again. Pivotal, they've set up a screen to the right side. That may develop. And out of bounds, they'll go on a catch. I think that's either Mike Evans or Tim Dunn, one of the two tight ends. He did not get the first down. They spot him out at the Army 39-yard line, stopping the clock, 4.41 to go until halftime, tied at 14. Army now three of four on their third downs. Mags need a stop right here to get the ball back. There's still some time. Two wides to the right, one to the left, single set back, throw it. It's a catch, Tremble. It's going to be enough for the first down. He's across the 42 near the 43-yard line. Tremble just caught another one. Devin Gregg wrestles him to the ground along with Jordan Peterson. First down, 10. Army at their own 43. Hash right, single setback. And two wides there on the left. He's looking in that direction. He throws, and it is a catch at midfield. Little juke move there. Gets it across the 50 and to the Aggie 48. Got nine yards on that one. Walter Hill. Come the Aggies, setting their defense. Marquise Carpenter, who did not play last week in the lineup now, he's over there on the defensive right side. Coupe, one of the linebackers, they just hand it off. They got a first down. Out across the 45, down to the Aggie 43. That may have been Vitti again. And they got him first down and 10. They're operating in Aggie territory, looking at halftime about three minutes away. Pivado, long count. Has it, pitch right, they're going to throw a halfback pass. He's looking to throw, and he is going to be dropped back at the 49-yard line. Nisi Toupe all over that. The pitch went back to Tony Moore. Moore was looking down the field, and Nisi Toupe closing on him, dropped him back at the Aggie 49-yard line. Loss of five, it'll be second down and 15. Right to the left, also in that direction, Trimble. They've got Hill here on the right. They've gone out of an eye formation. Throw it out in the flats, and is that a, he caught that thing. He and did. able to hang on to it, and he's dropped back at the Army 45. Another loss, time, 2.23. Now, a &M has only one timeout remaining. And Army is going to face a third down now, and next week they're going to need about 20. They're going to be in pretty good shape. They'd have it across the Aggie 35-yard line. Single setback, Pivano under center. Has it. Aggies are closing here as he rolls right. Here is a throw out of bounds. Did he? They said he's out of bounds at the 40 yard line. It's incomplete. Yep. And that will stop the clock at 143. Army will be forced to punt and the Aggies will get it back. Japheth Brown was over there to make sure that Tremble wasn't in bounds when he caught that ball. So the Aggies will get it. Go out of bounds and stop it, Dave. I think you just said that at 143. Right. So you got Chad Schrader waiting on the punt back at uh, his own 14-yard line. Not a whole lot of time to work with, but well, they've moved the ball well all night long except for the one drive where it was three and out. There's the snap. Mags coming. Good pressure. He's put this one uh, at the goal. Oh, it took an army bounce. He's going to be killed at about the seven-yard line. That hit at the goal line. Outside, about, about the half-yard line, and then it took a reverse spin and bounced back, and Army just killed it. 
at the Aggie six or seven yard line. A 48 yard kick and the reverse on that was uh, worked to the disadvantage of Texas A&M. A new rule, eye formation behind McGee. Chris Alexander followed by Javorski Lane. There's the snap, it goes to Javorski, lowers his head, fights out to the nine yard line. And line scrimmage the seven. McGee turns around, says something to Chris Alexander. He put Joy Thomas in motion, gonna throw it. Here's the throw. And somebody must have got a hand on that or it slipped. Come 29 seconds to go. He's got a third down. Probably keep this one on the ground to eat up the time. And it does. Lane will carry out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. And Army apparently will make sure that the Aggies are going to have to punt it. They're going to use their first timeout. Here comes the punt return team out onto the field. For Army, Jeremy Trimble. Bradley's going to take the snap at the one. Good kick. He's boomed this one. Backing up Trimble. Starts it at the 30. They're setting up the return to this. Oh, he got a great block on that corner. Now Trimble has stood up and dropped at the 45-yard line. Somebody just Chris knocked Harrington. the heck. Harrington centered up well, on him. I was looking back here. Hard. At, I was looking back here at who got knocked down back here for Texas A&M. That's Pierre Brown. Somebody got a block on him on that corner. They pancaked him on that return. They don't uh, do anything funny here, and let's see what Army will try. They're going to roll the clock from 10 seconds. There's a snap. Throws it over the middle, and that's a catch at the 30-yard line, and time has run out there at the 30. They're showing double zeros on the clock, and uh, apparently, let's see if they're going to say was there any time left when he caught they're going to huddle up and think about it. That is the end of the first half. Oh! Well, now their coach, Bobby Ross, has gone out there, and he's not happy, Dave. Well, you can't add, add time back to the clock when, when it runs out. Well, he went down. The last second ticked off, and then they came out and stopped the clock, and right. he's still talking to uh, Clayton Blakeman. That's going to be halftime. Well, They're they need to tell him that he can't call timeout before the play's over. Here we go. McDuffie standing at the goal line. Let's see if Zemanski can put it out of play. Here's his kick. This has a chance to be returned. It will from a yard deep on this side of the field. Boy, he got the little run. Oh, man. man. Ball's free. It's still free, and it rolls out of bounds. And somebody, Narada Manning, yep. hit McDuffie, and McDuffie is... He doesn't he, know where he is, Dave. Oh, man, I've been is. there before. It's no fun. He was not walking straight when he came off. Here is the first play, second half. Throw it. Intercepted. A&M, Devin Gregg over the middle. It is in Army territory at the Army 47-yard line. Gregg, the second interception of the night for A&M. Peterson got the earlier one, and this time Gregg gets it. Pivato had thrown four interceptions in his first two games. He's thrown two here tonight. Greg playing tonight in his ninth career game. He'll remember this one. Schrader went in motion. Here's the throwback after a handoff to Javorski Lane. Throwing it here, Schrader. Can he get it? He does. Touchdown! That just went 46 yards. Please Hand flicker, it Dave. To, hand it off to Lane. Lane turned him out, turned it, uh, threw it back to McGee, and McGee hauled off and threw one. That was caught about the 10 or so on the run. Schrader, 46 yards. Well, and the defenders knew they'd been fooled. They, they, they'd had their pockets picked, and they took a shot at Chad. They hit him, but it didn't slow him down enough. He got behind the coverage, a perfect strike from Stephen McGee. And just like that, the Aggies have scored on one play of the second half. How about that? Lane Newman has a first PAT of his career earlier. Ty Branion, who was on our radio show with Coach Brand last Thursday night, will be the holder. It's down, it's up. Made good on it. AM's got the lead. How about that? That took 52 seconds of the second half here in the third quarter, and the Aggies go up 21 to 14. Schrader caught that one on the run after a handoff to Lane, turned around, pitched it back to McGee, and McGee hit him over the middle in full stride. And the Aggies now lead at 21-14. We've got 14-08, third quarter, great play. Yeah. 
Well, that didn't take long at all for the Aggies to go back on top, 21-14. to 14, The handoff to Lane. Lane turns around, pitches it back to McGee. McGee to Chad Schrader, 46 yards. We've had the kickoff. Army has the ball at the 20. Dave. They didn't run it out. They were about three yards deep. They're going left side. Here is a turn at the corner, and he's going to get about 10. Nice run there. That's McMahon again, and he will turn that into an Army first down. First down, 10, the Army. 21 to 14, the Aggies, 13-48, third quarter. Drops back, sets the pocket, he's under pressure, he's throwing that one away. And there was a little takedown by one of the Aggies. That was in the Jason backfield. Jack. Here we go, they come back to the line of scrimmage, second down, same 10, their 32-yard line. Pivotal now they're showing nine of 16 and over 70 yards. They're going left side, that's the big fullback. They'll run him into the Aggie sideline across the field. That was Justin Warren. Wrapped up more, and more went into the sideline after about a two-yard pickup. We're looking at third down coming up. They're four of six on their third downs in the first half. This is their first third down opportunity, second half. Third and about eight. Got to get it to the 42. It's a draw again, and they will hand off to the fullback. I think it's Beatty. Beatty got to the 35, got a yard. Fourth down coming up. Defense swarmed that time. First man there, the last guy, Mark Dodge, got in there. Fourth down punt time. Ball's at the Army 35. Snaps a little high. Punts away. Wobbly. Schrader going over on the run. He makes the catch. He drops it. It's been, uh, who is it? Oh, it's Army's ball. Dropped it, and Army just recovered at the Aggie 37-yard line. He fumbled it, tried to get to it. Army covered it. Turnover against a and 33-yard punt. This time we fumble it and give it right back to him. First down and 10 at the Aggie 37-yard line. On the fumble, they try the middle. That's the fullback. It's either VD or Moore, and he spins and gets about four. We'll call it second down and six coming up, maybe about five. Third quarter. High formation. VD followed by McMahon. Going to throw. Pivoto going this side. Little push right there, and that is off the fingertips of Trimble. With Peterson trailing that play at about the four. He almost brought that in. It goes incomplete. On their thirds now, four out of seven. They have missed on their first third of this half. Now this is their second. Offset in the backfield. Play action. Rolling right. Pivotal throwing. And is that a catch? Yes, it is. He caught it. It's at the 22-yard line. Down on his knees. Walter Hill brought that in. First down, Army. They're now five of eight on their third downs. At the 21-yard line, hash right, I formation, flanker left, tight end left. That's the open side. Even a long count, has it, pitch left. McMahon looking for the corner, cuts back now, and he's at the 10. He's going to score a touchdown. Cut back this side, 21 out. They have a chance to tie the game. Extra point would tie this game, an Army is a fired up ball club. Playing here in the third, 11.42 to go. And again, this was a fumbled, a fumble recovery by Army on a Army punt. Schrader couldn't handle it. And they recovered it and they took advantage of it. All right, 21 apiece. Army kicks off when we return. We have 11.42 to go in the third quarter. You're listening to Texas A&M football. 46-yard touchdown pass from McGee to Chad Schrader was the longest completion of McGee's career. The touchdown was the 11th of Schrader's career and the fifth 40-plus TD uh, TD strike of his career. It's going to go deep into the end zone, and the Aggies will take the knee. They'll bring it out to the 20-yard line. So it's first and 10, Texas A&M at the 20. 11.36 to go in the third. Tied, Dave, at 21 each at a fired-up Army ball club. And Courtney Lewis not here tonight. He's being held out. They have not announced a season-ending injury, and so just not here. Brandon Leone's not here. Samson Taylor not here out of the running backs. Jimmy Babalola's not playing. Travis Snyder started in his place. Here is a handoff. Lane good. A hole. Cuts back across the 30 out to the 36-yard line. Jaborski Lane just went about 14 yards on that one. Going to give him 17. Lowell Garthwaite ended up making the tackle, and the Aggies convert that one to a first down on a first and 10. They'll move the chain, stop the clock, 11-11, 21 all the score. 
Aggies five of eight now on third downs. All in the first half. Here's first down and ten. Joy Thomas, the tight end in motion. Out of the shotgun once more. It goes to, and oh, it's a keeper by McGee. Splits two men, breaks the tackle across the 45, pushed out of bounds at the 43. Caleb Campbell, the Perryton, Texas product for the Black Knights, caught him at the 43, and they rolled into the Aggie sideline. First and 10, the Aggies, that goes 20. First down and 10, they are operating now in Army territory at the Black Knight 43. He's stepping up to the line to say something to those five men. He moves Goodson right to left, and he keeps after a fake to Goodson. They spin him down, and he is about five yards on that one to the 38-yard line. To the 38, McGee hit as he faked the handoff to Goodson and then kept it up the middle. Slot left, tight end right, short side to the right. They had some men coming. They gave it to uh, Javorski Lane. They shirt tail drag him down at the 34. We're going to be short of a first down by one. Army fired up. Well, Tydrick Riley is the extra man in the backfield. He is a wing right. Now they put him in motion. Coming to this side. And it goes to Lane. Lane across the 30. The Aggies have a first down to the 28-yard line. Convert that one. That's now six of nine on third downs for Texas A&M. Oh, he broke the huddle and had an extra man on the backfield. Javorski Lane had not gotten off the field. Black Knights, after a fumble recovery on a Army punt, couldn't be handled. They got it. They took it in. And we run the option again. Here's McGee. There's the pitch on the corner. It's going to roll out of bounds. Goodson couldn't handle it. Going to go out and about the line of scrimmage over on the far side of the field. McGee is lonely in the backfield. Second down at about 17. There's the snap. Good protection. That's a throw. And that is Martellus Bennett. And he will fight to the 26-yard line. Third down. Scoreboard says about seven. Ball at the 26 and a half. Army into the field. McGee. Time. Now flushed out of the pocket. Coming to this side. Fakes. Run. Spins. He's to the 20. Well, Going to be, be close a for short. a first down. The Aggies will face a fourth down and about a yard to go. Fourth and a yard, and it is a, it's a full yard. Two tight ends. Riley is to the right of the eye. He's going in motion. There he is, and there's Lane. Lane's got the first down and a whole bunch more. They're riding on him down to the four-yard line. First and goal, the Aggies at the four. Got the power formation in. Chris Alexander's the fullback. Javorski Lane is the tailback. Latidrick Riley flex to the right of Anderson. Now he goes in motion. And they just gave it to Javorski. One man bounces off of him, and he goes into the end zone. <laughs> they, they hit him behind the line of scrimmage, and he never, never slowed down. He carried a couple of Army tacklers into the end zone, and he is truly a great short yardage back. His third touchdown of the night. Well, somebody hit his thigh pad and went the other way. I mean, he just bounced off of him. Aggies again have a lead. 6.29 remaining here in the third. Going to count that a six-yard run? Four. Four-yard run, yeah. Yes. By Lane. They told you it's his third. Lane Newman now. This will be his third extra point attempt of the night. Ty Branyan's the holder. It's down. It's up. And this one is good. Aggies now lead 28 to 21. Time is 6.29 to go in the third. Here's the Mansky kicking off. They have a new middle return man. That's Trimble. He's waiting for it. Takes it at about the three yard line. He breaks out of there. Oh my. He's running for his life and across the 45 all the way out to about the 49 midfield, 50 yard line. 47 yard kickoff return, puts him at midfield, 6.14 to go. Third quarter, the Aggies lead 28-21. Pivado has a offset eye behind him. And he gave it to McMahon, and he will carry for about four yards to the Aggie.